Okay, very good. We launched all these wonderful multilingual tools. Number one, how do we know it translate correctly? Yeah! <laughs> I can't speak Swahili. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't speak Marathi. And how does a Swahilian know that the, because he doesn't know Pali? Uh. <laughs> how does he know that this is the correct? Maybe he don't even know Buddhism in some. Fifty percent of the one percent Buddhists in India yeah. reside in Maharashtra. Yeah, and they speak Marathi language. Oh, very weak. So the monks. They teach the Buddhism in Marathi. All right. So Marathi was a big thing, you know. When when Nobu was able to converse Dharma in Marathi, they were so excited. Hmm. Okay. And but Marathi <coughs> is related in a way to Magadhi. Exactly. It, it, it exactly. It all exactly. comes the from Prakrit, the Prakrit, the root word. Uh, okay. Root, root language is Prakrit. Okay. We found out uh, that the why the internationals were so excited because the Buddha Buddha uh, teaching were from there yeah, yeah. The home, home. so it hit, uh, it hit them yeah because now they don't need a, a, a third middle exactly. language exactly yeah they can relate their old ancient root language like prakit or magadi you know or even sanskrit you know yeah. to say pali example yeah. you know yeah. we are malaysian uh, not buddhist country <laughs> they <lost something>. exactly <laughs> so these guys were so happy you know yeah now after that i started to learn about um Historiography, they call it historiography means the study of history, you know, of Buddhist development from India to China. I studied this oh, thing for right. close to two weeks. I bought a book in, in England, talk about the historiography of a Buddhist Chinese Buddhism. Right? Very interestingly, they talk about how Chinese words, mm -hmm. Buddhist words ah, were coined. Excellent, yeah. To to mimic the understanding of Buddhist words. Yes. Okay. And Chinese words, of course, is a very different language yeah. from India. Yeah. You know, Indian, Indian language. Different connotations. Exactly. Yeah. So like terms like Dharma yeah. or even Karma yeah. or even suffering, you know. Yeah. The Chinese have their words. But it's a little bit different. The meaning, the root meaning, if we compare to the Indian one, is different, you yeah. know. So your point, when mm. we say translate from the, the Indian to Chinese example, the Chinese have a different interpretation of let's say suffering, ku. Cool. Ku tung ku, yeah. pain and fear yeah. inside. Right, very, right, 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 know, right, they, right. They, 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 the expression is different. But yeah. they had a thousand years, like the Sinhalese had, yeah. a thousand years to get those <coughs> words and give them Buddhist. Exactly. Meaning. Swahili? No. Don't have yet. Yeah, yeah. Don't have yet. Yeah. So these are challenges. These are challenges I foresee. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we give them this tool, mm. but also dangerous. I so agree with you. Yeah. When I uh, talk to my team, I say, oh, okay, very good. We launched all these wonderful multilingual tools. Number one, how do we know it translates correctly? Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak Swahili. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't speak Marathi. And how does a Swahilian know that the, because he doesn't know Pali? Uh, <laughs> how does he know that this is the correct? Maybe he don't even know Buddhism, example. Yeah. Okay? Obviously, yes. Yeah. yeah. So when he read a Swahili text, you know, he used Nobu and type, who is a Buddha? Okay. How do we know it's correct? Or Out not? of my depth. Correct. I number one, I'm cut off from Swahili. Yeah. The only way to have this corrected uh, is to have say Pante Bade Karata, maybe the, the first uh, African monk, uh, mm. to say that okay, I'm willing to become the source guardian for Swahili mm. and join the team, you know, to do the correction. But we're talking about thousands, hundreds of languages all over the world. Tibetan, yes, we can depend on Tibet house, yeah. right? Bhutanese, how? Who to contact the Bhutan language, you know? Hmm. Um, uh, maybe like for instance, Iban. One day, one day, hmm. Iban it, said, uh, right. "I want, I want Iban language." How? Who's who's to who's, say? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, also I mean, the input is it worth the while? Exactly. Is it worth uh, because <coughs> English has become such a universal language, <coughs> and because of two hundred years of input, a lot of the rough edges have been smoothed out. Buddhism vis-a-vis -vis English. So why not we <coughs> work on that rather than waste time on a small catchment area? Uh, Tibet House has uh, gave some very good idea. Keshe Doji Damdul. And maybe you can give your opinion so, uh, uh. about this multilingual thing. You see, don't go for the expert content. Go for the basic one. You know? The basic Buddhism. The, stay, uh, on the the beach. Beach. Uh, stay on the uh, beach. Yeah. Like for instance, uh, why 
do I pray to Buddha? You know, we don't pray to Buddha. We pay yeah, homage yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. What's the meaning of uh, bow three times? Mm. You know, goes back to graduated uh, five approach. precepts. You know, those kind of thing. Uh, why meditation is good? Basically, like the chief yes. used to teach us. Yeah, you know, yes. uh, and then once you are already <coughs> sort of interested, then you go. So he said, go that level, beginners level. Apply all the languages. Then you're safe. Yeah. Like that. Yes, I, you know I, I, mean? I would think what, so. you think so? And also, <laughs> the, I mean, Buddhism's, I think, greatest uh, contribution to humanity was its ability to solve the hard problems, the emotional. Uh, uh, those areas can be handled. Mm. Yeah. I think what cannot be handled is the working of the mind. You yeah, know, yeah, those yeah. deep yeah. things. But the, the lesbian, there are lesbians all over the world. Mm. All right. Whatever language you can speak to them, is good enough. You Correct. Know? Like that, there are there is so much suffering. So I thought that was an interesting angle when there's a, a Doji Damdo mm -hmm. Geshela. He explained. Then we, okay. I said, you know, when we get a suggestion like that, we put it to test. Yeah. Of course, we yes. say, all right. Right. So I'm a, my mother's Cantonese. You know. Uh -huh. Then we would go to Wikipedia. Uh -huh. We said. There are about 80 million Cantonese speakers in the world today. Mm -hmm. A large part of it is in Guangzhou, South China, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a scattering in like Malaysia, right. uh, maybe Vietnam, San Francisco, you know. Right, right. Our ancestors are all run from South China to here. So yeah. we still speak Cantonese. Hong Kong, yeah. speak Cantonese yeah. city. Uh. So we tested Nobu Cantonese. And then we converted the Cantonese text into a voice. A lady started talking in Cantonese. Mm -hmm. We recorded the thing. And then upload to uh, Facebook, and then ask people to listen to it, and uh, and I asked my mother to listen to right, it. Right, right. First thing she said, uh, "Who is this uh, lady? Is she a nun? Oh, which which temple come from? You know this this nun?" I said, "No, it's my robot. A robot can teach Cantonese in uh, uh, use Cantonese to teach mm. Dharma." I said, "Now it's possible. The Dharma is so good, you know." I, I have not heard this kind of dharma for a long time. You know? oh. She's 85 years old. Then she keep on listening again and again and again. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Basic dharma, nothing, nothing sophisticated, you know. So we're talking about 85, 81 million people. Mm. Probably 2%, 5%, maybe huh. serious practitioner. The rest, maybe yeah. just, you know. Yeah. From zero, huh. anything, even five people is, 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 is a game. So I think we we touch on the low level. Yes. I think we won't get wrong. Absolutely. We, we won't yeah. go so wrong. All right. Multilingual. Yes. You think so? I think so. I think so. Uh, <coughs> but I would think that uh, it's better to think in terms of serving the bigger groups first. Mm. All right. And mm. then the mm. smaller groups maybe, uh, if can be done tandem at, at the same time, fine, no problem. Yeah. But point taken that the Dhamma is of two levels, yeah, the lower yeah, and the higher. Yeah, yeah. So we'll keep to the lower level, like the Buddha did with Sigala yeah, yeah. and all of this. That level, let's, when that is covered, people will naturally move on to the higher level, by which time Nodbo will be waiting for them Yes. at the higher level. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so I think yeah, this, uh, your experience tells, you know. So your experience <laughs> tells. I think it's a good, good, uh, Good solution, I would say. Mm. Okay, you use a lot of humor in your talks. Will this work in a bot? Okay, mm. can a bot be trained to teach Dharma using humor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, two again, two aspects to this. Uh, first uh, reaction, yes, it's it's a good tool. The thing that ran through my mind was what happened with the Buddha, uh, a, a performer, an acrobat, came and spoke to the Buddha and said. But um, master, for all my life, I have been making people laugh. I've been making people happy. Therefore, I know when I die, I will go to heaven. And what is your uh, take on that? The Buddha remained silent. He asked again. And again. Finally, the Buddha said, no, you won't go to heaven. You'll go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> And this guy was shocked. He said, no, I made people happy. Mm -hmm. He said, yes, oh. but you didn't make them, help them to see reality. I see. Now, this is the <laughs> point about humor. This is the point of humor. Humor is of two kinds. 
one kind distracts you from reality the pain of reality and you forget that you go in there you watch this one hour program you think everything is funny you come back all right uh, that's one aspect of them and this is the aspect that the majority of human beings are going to they're going for entertainment they're going for distraction they are being misled into thinking everything is fine okay but there is another kind of humor